Hey guys, Freddy Jones here, and I'm back with another crafting video. This time dealing with our friend, the Lettersmith. First off, I want to emphasize what letter items are actually good to craft. So here's a list of criteria for an item to make the cut. Obviously, the item has to be good and usable. The required materials must be accessible. If it feels like a chore to get them, the craft isn't worth it. Also, I'm looking for items that have a good resale price. And finally, I made only items that do not require to kill bosses because the materials that they drop are usually worth more than the items you can make with them. First up, the Copper Light Lightfoot boosts are really affordable and are arguably the best boosts in the game because of their movement speed. They can be useful for every class in the game. Next, we have the Copper Light Riveted Gloves that also comes with a 1% movement speed bonus. They can also be useful arguably for every class depending on the builds you are running. Cobalt Lightfoot Boots, they come with 3 unidentified stats instead of 2 compared to the copper ones, but they don't have the 1% movement speed bonus. Then for my casters, the Ruby Silver Rawhide Gloves comes with a base 3 wheel and 4 knowledge, which is perfect for damage, spell casting speed and memory capacity. Then the last two items are more niche items, but their base strength and magic healing are perfect for clerics, warlocks and druids. To craft them you need a centaur tail, which is rarer than the other materials in the list, but if you can get your hands on one, the result is worth it. Alright, enough talking and let's get to the crafting now. Alright. First off. I get two vigor and some magical interaction speed. Not too bad. Next we got some copper gloves. I wrote two dexterity and regular interaction speed. That's pretty good. Alright, let's clear on the copper first. Magical interaction speed and some luck. That's pretty unlucky, ironically. Alright, next with the Cobalt, I wrote some magic damage bonus, max health bonus and some max health. I like these boots. This is the best pair yet. Alright, I want to try some gloves. I wrote some resourcefulness, armor and memory capacity bonus. That's pretty bad. Arrows of buff duration bonus, 2 magical power and max health bonus. I like these ones, they're pretty good. Next up with some boots. Arrows of buff duration bonus, some luck and some physical damage bonus. These ones are okay. Again with some gloves. Some magical damage bonus, memory capacity, and some magic resist. These are pretty good. Then with the boots, I get some magic resistance, physical power, and some max health. I like this one, they're pretty good. Alright, next with the ruby silver. I roll some resourcefulness, armor penetration. One physical damage and magic penetration. That's some good stats, but it's a little bit weird on these kind of gloves. Alright, let's go with another pair. Get some magic resistance, memory capacity, true physical damage, and buff duration bonus. Maybe these ones could be good for a demon warlock. Alright, let's get to the demon stuff. Pair 
also a buff duration bonus for max health and some magic resistance. That's okay. Alright, for the last pair, I roll some knowledge for max health and projectile damage reduction. I like the knowledge on these ones when you're missing some memory capacity. Alright guys, that's it for the crafting. I still have most of my crafts that I'm willing to give away if you made it this far into the video. You can have my in-game name, look for it in the video description. If you don't want to miss my next videos, make sure to like this one and subscribe for more crafting stuff. Until then, I'm Furley Jones and see you in the dungeon.